Oh my god, we're back with this game again! Freaking Jurassic Island something arc. I don't even know what this game is called. So anyways guys, what is up? It's the Dino Gamer okay, back in another video. Today, I'm here with uh, a new game. So altitude, 7,986 feet. Aircraft number A345BL. Date, June 15, 2018. Time, 1423. Location unknown. Oh my god, I read that like a boss. All right, so what is up, guys? Oh my God, there's more reading. Charlie, Flight Alpha three five four or five Bravo Lima. This is base. Please respond. So I actually played the first part to this game uh, a couple months back. This is actually the sequel to that game, and they decided to make a story out of it, which is kind of interesting um, because there's not usually a story with this. So hey, Charlie, what's up? We lost you from our radars a few hours ago. Couldn't reach you on radio. I had some troubles navigating the systems when I entered Bermuda Triangle. Damn, no one place uh, no that, is, that was one place I would fly around um, okay that is one place I would fly around okay I just wanted to make sure I was reading that right so um, don't tell me Charlie you believe in all those stories about the oh, god damn it the place is normal as it gets even better there's the best weather I've seen in months like uh, god damn it just look at this view I need to stop clicking so fast um, hope you are right there are no islands in a few hours radius so you better make it here or your wife will kill me Ah, uh, well, finally, <laughs> it's like a, it's like a fucking JPEG of like just the like the first thing you Google, uh, like like you just Google like uh, people animation, and this is like the first like picture that comes up. It's just Lizzie and Nick. It's just, oh, it's just fucking adorable family. Um, <laughs> I'm finally gonna take Nick flying with me. Uh, he was asking me forever. Um, that, that's great, man. That's great. Oh, great, it looks like the... Oh, shit, okay, so there's cursing in here. Okay, what's wrong? It looks like there's some shit going on. Uh, engine started to rattle. The system's gone crazy. Haven't seen anything like this before. Your plane is crashing, dude. Engine is burning. I won't make it, Charlie. Tell my family I love that. I mean, come on, you you have a fighting chance, man. I mean, don't give up. <laughs> Charlie? Oh, no, you're in the Bermuda Triangle. Oh, fuck, I didn't read that last part. God damn it. Oh, I'm pretty sure we're gonna cut straight to gameplay from here, right? I mean, there's gonna be no more cutaway scenes from here. There's not gonna be like a cutaway scene of us getting saved. That's not how these games would work. Uh, short tutorial will teach you how to play. Do you want to go through it? No, I'm a professional at this game, obviously. Oh, shoot. I'm out of stamina. I'm out of stamina. I'm just not realizing that. No, 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 no. Oh, God damn it. Um, so yeah, let's just, let's just play it, you know? Let's just... <gasps> there's sword pods in this game! Oh, yes! Oh, uh, this is like, it's kind of like, um, like you could tell from the buttons that the systems are, of this game are similar to the first one. So yeah, for some reason they decided to make a sequel, because I guess the first one did so goddamn well. Um, but it's built so similarly, except everything looks so much better. The graphics, I can, like, this is sword pod, can it attack me? Oh, this feels a lot like, like a downgraded arc, you know, like you go up to a brontosaur and it just booms, attacks you. And of course, obviously I can mine material. Okay, yeah, so it just, uh, again, it works the same way. Every time you go up to a tree, it pulls out an ax. And every time you go up to stone or just rocks, it just pulls out like a pickaxe. So, um, I don't really know if I really want to try to survive right now. I think I just want it to explore. Although I should probably collect some resources. Um, I want to see if I could like, hu like hunt it, you know? It's just kind of in the background dancing there. <laughs> um, but like, I just want to see if I could take it down because it doesn't look like it's going to attack me. Uh, it's just like the Stegosaurus in the first one. So I'm going to see if I could actually get it. Um, because the Stegosaurus didn't fight back. I wonder if this one will fight back. Nope, it's it's running. It's running. What What a wimp. Get over here. Come on. Let me stab you. Let me chop you up with this butcher knife. Why do I have a butcher knife of all weapons? Like, I, that's just what I'm wondering. Did I, like, build this from scratch? Did I, like, just have it in the plane? I'm not entirely sure. I'm gonna stab you in the ass, or the, the leg, calf, you know, whatever it is to you. I feel like I'm just, like, a bug just beating up an innocent giant creature. It's so sad. Oh, wow, I'm actually gonna kill it. Oh, my God. So it's just kind of stuck in the water. Can I not go into the water? I guess not, but there's some resources. But holy crap, I took down this entire thing. I mean, in Ark, it would be a lot more stressful and harder to do. And the thing would fight back. And I can't even see its head. I would love to see the look on its face, but I, I guess I can't. So, uh, oh, there's another thing. Another, another dinosaur creature thing. What is this? What is that? Oh, it's attacking me. And it's a compi. Uh, Compsognathus. I should... Compsognathus. Sorry, there we go. And it's really easy to take down. And there's only me. Okay, that's fine. It's not like I'm in dire need of materials, so, you know, thanks for providing me almost nothing. Oh, hey, there's a Stegosaurus! Oh, wow, it looks like an upgrade from the last one, too. Is it? Is it stuck in the rock? Is it? It might be stuck in the rock. There's two dinosaurs up ahead. 
Yeah, it's stuck in the rock. I, <laughs> I like the fact that it's green. It's like a very bright, exotic color for it. I really like it. But, uh, oh, there's another Comsognathus. Uh, Comsog Sorry, I can't even say it right. I want to take a closer look at this um, Stegosaurus, but it's really stuck in there. <laughs> oh, there's more dinosaurs up ahead. And it's just more compies. Okay. Uh, there has to be other things out here. So basically, I'm just kind of looking around, uh, just exploring. I don't even really want to survive right now. I want to just explore to see what this game has. If I if I learn anything from this game, is that it does have like its own dinosaur design. So that's impressive. I like that. Oh, there's another dinosaur. There we go. It's a, it's a Parasaurolophus. Well, I guess if I want to survive longer, I should kill some stuff for food. So, you know, that way I can explore a bit longer. Come here, buddy. I'm not going to do anything to you. I just want you to meet my friend. Holy shit, it's running after me. Oh my, oh my god. What the hell? It's actually hitting me. Okay, uh, I should probably run. R run. Get the, get out of my way. No, run. Oh no, oh no. Okay. Well, this just got scary. Okay, it's actually chasing me. Holy shit. It looks scary when it's running after you. Holy crap. What the heck? It's actually fighting back. Oh my god, that's like Parasaurolophus' revenge. Holy crap. <laughs> that was scary. But we must persevere to find stuff like T-Rex and raptors and whatnot. You know, just the generic stuff. But, uh, yeah. So anyways, guys, um, how's it going? I'm very happy right now, honestly. Not just because I've, I've finally found a game to play, but mainly because it's actually the beginning of spring break as, at the time that I'm recording this. And I'm just... I'm so happy. God, earlier this week, I'm actually recording this on... Oh, it's just another Stegosaurus. I thought I saw another dinosaur. Different one. <laughs> um, I'm actually recording this on a Friday. Earlier this week has been the most busiest week of my life. It was hell. Oh shit, it's another, it's another Parasaurolophus. I'm not dealing with that again. Let's just kind of sneak around it. Hopefully it doesn't notice us. And if it does, then um, we should probably run, you know, just kind of sneak away. Okay, okay, good. All right. We, we're, we're good. We're good, guys. We're okay. Anyways, so um, <laughs> it's, it's like I'm like paranoid right now. Um, is there anything else? There's like another dinosaur around this cliff or rock or something. You know, I'm just gonna avoid it. Um, so yeah, this was like the busiest week of my entire life, and it was. It's like it's. It's. I don't know. It's like the teachers really wanted to pile us up on work, like the week before Thanksgiving or Thanksgiving. No, spring break. Did I say Thanksgiving break? Oh my god, I might have. I'm sorry, guys. I'm really tired right now. Uh, I'll kill it. Die. <laughs> Uh, let's take that. Do I want to kill another Brontosaurus? You know what? I'll just leave the Diplodocus. It's a Diplodocus, not a Brontosaur Diego. Get it right. And there's another Compi. I'm just going to run away from it. I don't give a shit anymore. <laughs> so, um, oh yeah, school has been, it's, it's been hell. It's been, so much work has been given to me. It just between Chris's break and now, I feel like, you know, more work <laughs> between Christmas and now than all of first semester, which has been... Oh, it's been hard to catch up on, but I managed to get it done. I, God, I had like three tests today alone, and I, that's probably the most I've ever had. Um, and I know some of you are like, well, Diego, I've taken like four or five tests. It's like, you know what? You don't need to show off. Okay, guys, I get it. You're smarter than me, or, you know, more smart, depending on how you say it. I'm, I'm not really sure. I'm, I'm not smart, remember? But despite my lack of knowledge, I continue to try, and honestly, I, I think I do very well. Um... You know, as far as grades go, I'm pr I'm pretty solid. I I'm pretty good. I think I'm like a like a B A minus student. There's only one class I've ever like really stressed on, and those are like science classes. And like I I think I remember mentioning this before, but like chemistry, I was like last year in junior year, chemistry was terrible. I got like a I barely passed that class. I think I got like a D in that class, which is um pretty bad, <laughs> pretty bad for someone who is uh. Very interested in just science itself, I guess, because, you know, paleontology has a lot to do with, like, just, just science in general, you know? Um, especially when it comes to physics, and I'm doing terrible in physics. Oh, my God, I just, I don't know. I, I, I'm doing good in, like, all my other classes, and I, I don't know. It's just the thing is, with me, I'm relatively good at math. And physics, a lot of it has to do with math. There's a lot of equations in it. There's a lot of math problems. And when I get that down, I can do that. But it's the concepts I don't seem to get, you know, like the laws and the formulas and 
uh, the meaning behind stuff, you know, it's just all that I try to understand and it's just so hard. Like we were recently working on something called Snell's Law. I, I don't even know what that is. I don't know how to find the number. I know a little bit of the math. I can get the math. I just don't know how to do it. <laughs> I just don't know if, I don't know anything guys, I'm stupid. Okay, it's really not because I'm stupid. I just, I just need to help on it. But um, it doesn't even matter anymore because we pretty much finished up the unit today. So yeah, I still don't understand it. <laughs> and I took a test on it today. Uh, that just shows how much I know, doesn't it? I'm sorry, guys. I, I, I know I'm going on a tangent here and just, like, grades and, and just my school life. And you guys probably don't want to hear that. But um, I've been looking around, and I'm not seeing any T-Rexes or Raptors. I'm a little disappointed by the variety of dinosaurs here. Now, don't get me wrong. It's not like I'm only looking for T-Rexes and Velociraptors. But I was, I was really hoping there'd be some more. So far, there's uh, Parasaurolophus, Compsognathus, Diplodocus, and Stegosaurus. Can I kill the Stegosaurus, by the way? Like, will it fight back? Not, not see, nope, mm -mm, not fighting back, nope, that, that's kind of disappointing when they don't fight back. There's only one, oh, there's two dinosaurs that fight back. There's a Parasaurolophus, which is pretty scary, the fact that it could fight back, because, like, it just kind of throws, it throws hands, you know, throws punches at you. And then there's the Compsognathus, obviously, and the Stegosaurus, is, despite its spiky tail, just kind of runs away like a little wuss. Well, this has been a huge, colossal waste of my time. Looks like I'm never seeing my wife and kid again. But hey, at least I can live out the land with the dinosaurs. There's nothing wrong with that. It's not, it's not that bad. 